Apple's Tim Cook is in China, second time this year, meeting with officials, pledging increased investment in that country. And that comes as the iPhone maker is facing increased pressure in the world's largest smartphone market. Our dear Dubosa watching all of that in today's Tech Check. Hey, Dee. Hey, morning, Carl. So if you think, like many investors do, that artificial intelligence is the most, or at least one of the most important parts of the Apple investment thesis, then you really want to pay attention to what is happening in China. Cook's visit comes just a week before the launch of Apple intelligence here in the U.S. Meanwhile, its most important Chinese rival, that's Huawei, it's not waiting around. Just like they front-ran the latest iPhone announcement, the company is once again front-running the release of Apple intelligence with its own AI features through an upgrade to its Harmony OS that's its operating system. Now, according to a demo from the company that it posted, it uses in-house AI to do things like translate text, edit photos, carry out more autonomous actions like ordering a coffee without needing to actually touch the device until you get to the payment part. Now, this is all the more notable because the first wave of Apple intelligence, it won't be available in China. And Apple is already on the back foot. As we have pointed out before, Apple fell out of the top five smartphone players in China earlier this year. And I want to emphasize the second column on this image. Go to Huawei, take a look. It's growing its market share 41% annually. Not only has it pushed Apple further down this list, so it's out of this list, but it's quickly widening the gap. Now, so far, some of that has had to do with folding smartphones, which are hugely popular in China. Apple, of course, doesn't offer one at all. Huawei, meanwhile, a few months ago, not only has foldable phones, but it added a tri-fold, triple-fold smartphone to its lineup. And now Huawei is pulling ahead on the AI front, while Apple is left searching for a solution to a much bigger problem. Now, the backdrop is this. Beijing has banned foreign-developed AI models like ChatGPT, so Apple may have to secure a local partner to power those AI features, raising questions around data sovereignty and privacy. This is likely a topic that Cook is discussing with Chinese officials this week in a social media post. China's industry and IT minister said that Cook stated Apple's commitment to investing in the country and said that he would support the development of supply chains, all while he's trying to diversify over to India. Finally, guys, one last point. I want to underscore that Huawei is blacklisted by the U.S. government. So not only is it growing its smartphone business and reducing its reliance on Western technology, but it's also China's best hope of catching up in semiconductors, which we know is critical to the AI arms race. A research firm, Tech Insights, discovered that Huawei's latest AI servers included chips made by TSMC. And that, of course, is NVIDIA's key manufacturing partner. Guys.